everybody, it's Chucka Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we had an adventure with a dog after having an adventure as a dog, and then became a dog because now we are Poochie Yoshi. And this time, we are going to be going onward into World 2, 2 6 Lava Scares and Red Hot Blargs. I'm a big fan of saying blarg or blargin and stuff like that just in normal speech, so uh, I'm a big fan of this. We're gonna get our Poochie on by being immune to fire and lava. Halt, stop the music. We gotta talk. I got a little bit into the stage using that badge and... It's awkward, okay. There's not many stages where immunity to fire and lava actually does anything, yet I'm finding that in a stage where it actually does do something, it's downright cheap to the point of removing any challenge. You can see right here, this is meant to be a bit of a timing game, and I can just hold to the right, go through the fire, and the flames, can't forget those either, and it completely removes any semblance of trying. So instead of imitating Poochie, I thought we could dress up as Poochie and play together with him at the same time. Going in, I just want to say I hope playing with two Poochies is a lot better than it was playing with two Yoshis. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, good. Oof. I was about to say, oh my god, is he burning alive down there? But no, he doesn't. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so he just kind of comes with us. I'll follow Yoshi to the ends of the earth and uh, into the melting earth. Lava is such a cool idea. You can see the lava is individual scarves going around spools and just rotating around them in the ground. It's such a cool touch, and they also have rotating spools on top of, like, these mountains to give the scarves the effect that they're just running down the mountain. Ooh, uh, I am so glad that my dog is indestructible, otherwise I would be one very sad pet owner right about now. <laughs> Uh, I hope he finds a way to come back as well, because if not, that's- okay, he does find a way to come back. New enemy! This is Bl Whoa! Poochie, you bit his toes off! Look at that, he just- oh, uh, uh, oh, crap, uh, okay, uh, no, uh. I guess it's three hits to kill, but Poochie lulled me into a false sense of security, thinking that I could just take him out in one hit. These guys are technically called Gargantua Blargs. It's a name that's been retconned because of Blargs looking completely different in canon, but personally, whenever I think of Yoshi's Island, I always immediately think of Blarg. I don't know why that is, but um, I guess it makes sense because he's on the box art for Yoshi's Island. Shut up. It is also nice that he's made out of scarves. If you want to make something look warm, the way to do it is by making it out of scarves. Uh, all right. Got far Whoa! Super dog away! Poochie! It's a good thing I like you because I would not be able to get rid of you if I didn't- Oh, whoa, 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 I am not- I am not indestructible like you! Stop! Okay, good. I thought he was gonna use up that platform for me and make me not able to- You see what I mean? The fact that there's all this fire to make things tense and yet I can just walk through it no problem at all. That's why I didn't want to do this stage this way. Thought it was far better doing it like so- Oh god, oh god. I barely made it, I'm very singed because of the material that I made out of. Okay, up, 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 go, go. Poochie is dancing, he's like my cheer squad. <laughs> he's like, come on, master, I know you can do it, I believe in you, you're the best. Oh, I'm so glad I have some health here. Never feel weak when I got Poochie cheering for me. Thankfully, these don't burn up in the lava like I do, but I guess that's because they're uh, inanimate yarn, uh, good distinction there. <laughs> Poochie just taking a nice hot bath there, going for a swim in the sauna. I don't know if dogs are supposed to go in saunas. I would assume they aren't really a good mix. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Thank you, Flutter Jump. Here we got some bullet bills. They travel in straight lines. They are in no way homing, and they give you black yarn balls if you swallow them. I can't help but feel like I've missed something already, because... <laughs> he follows you onto the pause menu?! Why is Yarn Poochie just the best character ever? As I didn't particularly like Poochie as a kid when I was playing, you know, different games in the in the various like when I was playing different games, but Yarn Poochie is just perfection. He really is. Like Okay, I'm just gonna say this. This is something that desperately needs to be said. 
Poochie transitioned into this art style better than Yoshi. Facts. I'm sorry. I won't budge on that. It's facts. I don't care what you think. Yoshi looks pretty good, but Poochie's Poochie. Come on. So, there's not a fire guys are shooting up there, but there are ones over here. Go over. Jeez, look at him. Look at him go, man. I love this guy. Where are the flowers in this level? That would have been funny if it appeared right then and there. Still nothing. I noted a distinct, I, I saw a distinct lack of flowers on my first run as well. I didn't get, um, I think this is about as far as I got before realizing that it just kind of ruined everything. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Get that, Lonk off of you. Uh, gonna slip through, oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, go, 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 go. Flower number one, and it's number three. I would say maybe I didn't need to play the stage again because I needed to play it again anyway to get collectibles, but uh, it's fine, it really is. I'm okay with our first run having a bit of challenge in it. Maybe I could use the badge on the second run just as kind of a easy thing now that I've done my time and gotten through it. Uh, Pooch, look, okay, there you go. You can lick me a little bit and wag your tail. Okay, now I just kind of need this platform's weight to be a certain way. Otherwise, I won't be able to test and see that there's nothing up there. Very important, Poochie. I'm glad that you understand business. Uh, oh. Oh, gosh. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Not throwing it away, that's for sure. Down we go, and... Uh, that is uh, one dry, crispy flower at this point. I'm willing to bet there's going to be a stamp patch in here. Yes, there is. Music is so extreme. I haven't really stopped to comment on it yet, though, but it's very different from the rest of the soundtracks. Here you go. You think we're so cute? Yeah, well, I got news for you. We're cool! Away! I'm riding this hog! Or dog. Okay, fine. Uh, Poochie, you're on Blarg duty. Poochie, you did a horrible job on Blarg duty! Crap. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, attempt at looking cool number two. Go. Uh, I, I can't do it because I have to get these up here. Can't risk there being something invisible. Okay, good. Poochie did a much better job that time around. It's okay. It's okay. You were still on the job training. I understand that you're going to make some rookie mistakes. Flower number three out, out of five. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing there, buddy? Uh, thank you, Poochie. I get the feeling he was intended to chase after me, but because Poochie was just rocking the house so hard, I didn't even notice him chasing me when he was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely, definitely. Poochie! Uh, wow, what you, uh, lacked before, you made up for in spades. Hopefully you didn't make up for it in neuters. Okay, I'm sorry I ever said that. Here we go! Oh, nope, uh, here we don't go. Poochie, thank you. Got the bonus stage and finish with my dog. On any stage being played with Poochie, he'll be at the end of the stage even if he didn't do anything and you left him to rot in a bottomless pit that he didn't get out of. All in all, just a fun mechanic. I think it... Adds a lot of fun to the stage. It's dirt cheap, only costing 500 beads out of the 40,000 that we got. I think that if you would just want a fun twist on a level, this is the way to do it without it being too good. Look at him dance. Ooh, lucky two clouds. Flying around on those is fun. Let's use our tongue for good time management. Uh, oh, missed the bonus, but I still got the extra time, so it's no yarn off of my nose. Yeah, no, that was pretty bad. Uh, only plus three seconds that time. They do not get more forgiving with it. Made it to round three that time. All I had to do was stop talking. There you go, detractors who hate my stupid voice. You were right all along. Ooh, Mega Yoshi, a stilt guide. Wow, uh, relatively high resolution Miiverse stamps. Yeah. 
Flame Yoshi! You know he's extra flaming because the fires are on his crotch! I'm kind of glad that even though the uh, immunity to fire and lava power-up was a bit lame, that we still got to use two really good power-ups at the stage. I see where I missed a flower. That's so obvious. How did I not do that? I'm smarter than I was five minutes ago! Ho ho! There I go being French sounding again. For this one, I had to not be smart by standing where all the fire was going to be. I'm glad to know I am a master of both skills. There it is, he is definitely meant to come after you and chase you and do very unkind things to you with his toothless mouth. Ha! Right in the kisser. You know, cause it's his mouth and it kisses. I don't actually know what right in the kisser is referring to, so uh, maybe that's actually not a pun and just what it's supposed to be. A small detail that I never had a chance to talk about in the first run out of just being so enamored with Poochie is that as a cool little detail, or a warm little detail, the egg baskets in this stage specifically always give warm colors. Our two runs came together to form a perfect one. Now, I remember this level. Uh, if my comments about getting a badge and being excited for the next stage didn't make any sense a few times ago, it was because I thought this was the next stage. I had the order a little bit wrong. But this one, I definitely remember, and it's long. Flame Yoshi was good under pressure and under temperature. He was a good pick for that stage, helping us get 100%, but... I think he might be a little bit too extreme for what we got to do on this journey. It is true that this is a very gruesome adventure when you really think about the art style, but I think we know somebody who's really, really good at taking out pharaohs and their pyramids. Mega Man Yoshi! We're taking on Pharaoh Man in the Desert Pyramid Beckon! Even though immunity to fire and lava was very cheap in the last stage, I'm gonna give it one more chance, because I know it's useful in this stage, I just don't know how useful it is. Regardless, this is a very long stage, so maybe it'll be a good thing if we get through it a little bit quicker, thanks to the aid of a badge? Yeah. Well, the fight's beginning early. Not quite Pharaoh Man, but Pharaoh Guy. You can eat him, but uh, they kind of linger for a little bit and they always resurrect from the dead. So you can eat them all over again. They solve world hunger, but the flavor and um, boniness leaves a lot to be desired, but I doubt people in third world countries will care at all. I'm going to sincerely hope that there were no collectibles there, because if so, that really sucks to be me. Another new enemy, these are fangs. A word that I like using at my cat whenever he's uh, showing his teeth at me. I didn't realize how bad that sounded, but to me it's obvious the situation I'm talking about is when he's asleep in weird poses. I don't know why I'm going on this tangential story. Yeah, you can't really deal with Pharaoh guys with eggs, you can't jump on them, you can't eat them, but you can eat fire and become a fire-breathing dragon. Or dinosaur, whichever you prefer. I feel like there's a lot of underutilization of Yoshi having the capability to breathe fire, and uh, this is a great usage of it, using it to beat undead enemies for good. Have very unique properties, and uh, yeah, they're pretty sweet. Come on, give me that. Thank you. The candles will always turn back on after a few seconds. And I like the decor in the foreground of Tutankhamun shoelaces. Always use these for good egg refills. And the irony that there is so much life in this place. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing else? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That ceiling looks suspicious. Yes! Knew it! Ah! That's cool. That is very, very cool. Oh, gosh, I thought I went down there. Okay! That's interesting, ain't it? Screw you! I already stopped feeling cool once I realized that's what I was supposed to do. Now I feel doubly less cool. We have lots of ancient Egyptian shoelaces in the foreground, and in the background, a door with four locks on it. I'm pretty sure you know what we need. That's right, time to collect four secret cool guy handshakes. Okay, 
Uh, going down this lower left path, this is, I would say, probably the most open-ended stage so far. There's all kinds of objectives that can be done in absolutely any order that you wish, and eh, some people like kind of mazy stages and platformers, others don't. I'll give you that it's no Metroidvania, that for, for definite and for truly. Stumbling over my words here to say what I'm trying to say, but you understand what I mean. It's not super hard, but I can kind of see how it is a bit of a break from what the norm has been up to this point, and some people might not really take kindly to that. Personally, though, I think the stage is fine. I think it's really fun. Very different from everything so far, and I like desert levels more than most people do. I've always said that I think the desert is one of the more underrated beauties in the world, especially when you can see it in the rain, and oh, that's cool that they actually leave little trails of stitching behind them and they're broken up thing. That's, that's really, really cool. More hearts. I don't even need them. I kind of wish that I didn't uh, grab so many hearts here. Oh, so this is it. Uh, these guys are, I think they're actually called floofs. Of all things they're gonna be called. I know that they're cotton balls on fire, so they, they kind of match their name, but still, floofs, really? Uh, gotta get out of there really quick. Thank you, invulnerability frames. And come on, Mega Man, let's keep going. These platforms, uh, first time seeing these. Maybe you can give me enough of a boost so I can actually get up on them? No, I can't quite do it. Maybe you can do it. Uh, no, I'm not risking that, never mind. Okay, uh... Perhaps over... I did this very out of order, didn't I? <laughs> Holy heck, did I do this out of order? Holy heck, did I do this out of order? Flower number two, holy heck, did I do this out of order? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the thing about these maze stages is that you might wander into an area when you didn't really mean, or really, um, what did I say, when you really didn't need to do so, and, uh, there's no real way of knowing which order is which, so you might collect flower number five first, and, just be kind of confused on how much stuff you've actually missed. It can make going through it again and to get collectibles that have been missed a little bit hard. Oh, Yoshi's tongue was really weird there. Um, I need to actually touch that to collect it. So I think I'll lure you out. Okay, now that I've drawn the aggro, we're gonna just have you, okay good, you're not just gonna fly around in circles. Now that we've drawn the aggro and I can sound overly dramatic about that, that'll flutter us up to get that. That is collectible number five right after I was just saying that could happen. Whoop! Back up, please! Thank you! Using these guys as stepping stones is great. You get so much more height off of them than if you were to just flutter jump alone. Flutter jumping off enemies, for whatever reason, just gives you a lot. I'm willing to bet that in this illusion wall, it's an illusion wall. That means... Nothing. Here, be my baby. It's like being reincarnated, isn't it? And more fire. This is part of why I was saying that it's good to have immunity to fire and lava, because we're going to be dealing with this mechanic a lot. Uh, that turned one flame into two. That turned two into three. And that turned three into four. Back in the main hub, I think the entire left side is good to go, and it's gonna be the uh, bottom right that I tried to go after and then went down that pipe and got transported to the bottom left that I need to deal with. Uh, gonna take the egg. And I'm also gonna take whatever's in here, thank you. That was number one, so apparently I was instinctively going on the pathway of the first collectible right in the first place, but okay, yeah, I, I don't need to hammer it in anymore. I'm just having a fun time, okay? I can have fun playing Yoshi and acknowledge that I've missed a collectible or that it's gonna be a little bit challenging, and that's good. A lot of people just kinda of take a look at it and assume it's not gonna be challenging, but I'm kinda of here to maybe show you a little bit different. Yeah, because I do think that this can be a little tough. It's as hard as you make it, and I think that's kind of a beautiful thing. Third key. Bong. On the way back, there's this guy, thank you. Who can die in a fire. And these can be used to just go up top, right into the next door. 
Getting, I, yep, even more hearts. It's like I'm catching on to these patterns. I wouldn't be surprised if I've collected at least 40 hearts so far in this run. And we got another room. Grab him through the platform, light that. I might have lit it a little bit too early because, yeah, the fire goes out and you gotta do it quickly. And I was having to wait for him to respawn his flames. Come on, come on, buddy. Ouch, sucks to be that guy. All right, what I think we gotta do actually is let him light that one. And you heard the man, floof! Key number four. In case it was a mystery on your mind, keys do overwrite egg slots. Only six objects may be following Yoshi at any given time, no matter what they are. Hanging onto the keys was an intentional choice. And, uh, a challenge run that nobody cares about? Hugging this yarn ball shimmying all over it and just being downright adorable. Oh, in the top left, flower. Ha ha! And in the bottom right, there is the fifth and final Wonder Wool. Hoping and praying to Safari Yoshi above that the fifth and final flower is behind the locked door. And it's occurred to me that it's very applicable that Mega Man was chosen for this stage, not only because of Pharaoh Man, but also because of instant death spikes. There truly is no better demolitions expert at this place. Now? I've been saving all these keys to make this extra satisfying. <laughs> okay, another open-ended area. I'm gonna go to the right or the left. It's like all those false chambers made to confuse grave robbers. It's not like they need to worry about anything. They're not even actually dead. They could defend themselves. That is more hearts. I actually did get hit along the way, so I appreciate the overabundance of hearts. I have not hit a checkpoint since the very beginning and we were in that transitional area going from the bottom right to the bottom left. Needless to say, I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't, I do not want to be in trouble. Don't want anything bad to happen. I could really, really go for a checkpoint or the end of the level right about now. But uh, not a little, not, too si oh gosh, um, well, I found where I'm supposed to go, more than likely. That's beads, okay. How do I only have eight of patches? Are these all in here? These aren't illusions, yeah, I bonked my head. Not gonna bonk my head on that. Crushing does exist, can't take instant death from that. Okay, give me that. It's nice how these platforms do permanently stick onto it. Adds a bit more uh, intrigue to it, I would say. Yes, I'm a bit of a Yoshi snob. Yeah, something uh, very worth being snobby about. Come on, me, you. I don't know why I'm caring so much. I don't even want the Miiverse stamps, but so be it. We got some instant death spikes. I don't want to get too close to standing on those. Uh... Okay. Come on. Come on, flower. Come through for me. Show me a flower. Show me a flower. Don't tell me I did this a whole stage wrong. Because I only did one little part of it wrong. There it is. That's totally gonna be it. Yes! Now get on! Yeah! <laughs> I escaped! I'm a, I'm a successful little grave robber. Yes, I am! Oh man, so glad I enlisted Mega Man's help to deal with Pharaoh Man. Uh, now we're outside of the pyramid. You can see it's just one giant structure. The whole level's just inside the pyramid and it shows it on the other side too. And that gives us not even remotely all the Miiverse stamps, but who cares? Not I, not you, not even Nintendo. Even though I've made that joke already. I just feel very triumphant getting out of there. This is a beautiful view right here. That green on those yarn balls are very pretty and just the sky with the cotton making up the clouds and it's a nice reward at the end of such a stressful level. Near perfect. And the reward is, is he wearing a biker jacket? Skeleton Yoshi. 
So he's Ghost Rider? The end of World 2 beckons us. Next time on Yoshi's Bully World, we go on to challenge Hot Dog. See you guys then. Thank you.